Welcome to Core Cutting Today, where we break down some of the biggest stories happening in the world of core cutting, including today, Amazon is going to be the new streaming home for Bally Sports RSNs. Soon you'll be able to stream live regional sports through Amazon. If you subscribe to it, we'll tell you what's happening there. Uh, Disney and or Disney Plus and Hulu have merged their apps into a newly released version. It's a lot like the one that's been out for a little while, but we had a lot of questions about this. And we wanna take a moment in this video and answer all those questions, try to address many of the common concerns and honest, just wondering about what this means for them. And YouTube is testing a way to automatically skip boring parts of the videos, like this one maybe? We'll let you know about um, these new features and more here in a quick second. If you wanna learn more about these stories, check out the show notes down below and in the first pinned comment, I'll pull a link to each story there so you can read about them for yourself. If you've been here a while and you like what we do, do consider hitting that subscribe button hit or hitting that thumbs up. Do a one or both, lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. So YouTube recommends our videos to more people, helping us grow and hopefully helping you break free from the high cost of TV, but still watch what you enjoy. So let's dive into it. Amazon and Bally Sports earlier this year reached a deal to make um, Amazon the new streaming home for Bally Sports RSNs. Today when I'm releasing this is opening day for Major League Baseball. Hard to believe it's here already. We're already almost at the end of March 2024 when I record this. But Amazon is not live yet, so what's happening? Well, Bally Sports still needs permission from their shareholders and the judge to approve all this um, to get confirmation. And it looks like that's pretty much a done deal. And Amazon will soon be the new streaming home for Bally Sports. Now through this, it's not gonna be included with Amazon Prime, It'll be available through the Amazon Prime channels. Now with that, you'll subscribe instead of through Bally Sports, you'll subscribe directly through Amazon's app through the Prime channel system to watch Bally Sports with this. Much like you would subscribe to Paramount Plus or other services through Amazon. So if you're currently a subscriber, it's unknown how you would transfer. It kind of sounds like one month, you'll just stop paying to Bally and you sign up through um, Amazon Prime. Now, to get this, Amazon has invested millions of dollars into Bally Sports to basically buy these streaming rights to bring people into the Amazon app as they try to make Amazon's Prime Video a well-known source for streaming sports, NFL, and other games also with it. And now with this, they'll get a bunch of regional sports games. Now, not all Bally Sports teams will be included, only the ones who already have streaming rights for Bally Sports, unless they strike some deal between now and when this goes live. So like the Detroit um, Tigers will be included, but other teams won't be in this offer. So keep that in mind, but Amazon will soon be the new streaming home for Bally Sports. Disney Plus and Hulu um, are merging into a single app. For months now, they've been uh, beta testing this, and now the beta test is gone. And honestly, it looks exactly the same as it did as a beta test, but there are a lot of questions with this. Number one, can I get live TV on Disney Plus? No, if you wanna use the Hulu Plus live TV, you still need to use the Hulu app. The Hulu app is not going anywhere. If you are subscribed to one or both, your subscriptions do not change. This isn't automatically upgrading or changing subscriptions. You have to be subscribed to both to get Hulu inside the Disney Plus app. Bundles of those two services start at $9.99. If you're on a ProRate account, I know a lot of people took advantage of the uh, uh, Hulu uh, Black Friday deal that got Disney and Hulu for like four bucks or something like that. It was a crazy good deal. Um, if you're on that deal, that deal is still good. Nothing changes. You just log into one or both to get your content. So no changes for you. The only thing different here is that most of Hulu's on-demand content goes into the Disney Plus app. A few shows, for some reason that Disney isn't really explaining, a few on-demand shows are not available on the Disney Plus app. Now I've noticed there's a lot of confusion over this because a lot of people who get their um, get content through the Hulu Plus Live TV are wondering why that content is also in the Disney Plus available on demand. Video on demand content from Hulu Plus Live TV remains only in the Hulu app. Are you confused yet? You're not alone, it is a little confusing, but the short end here is now it's just a little easier. You can subscribe to everything through the Disney Plus app if you're a Hulu subscriber for the on-demand. The vast majority of Hulu on-demand content is now available as a section inside the Disney Plus app. I did a video on this yesterday. If you wanna look at a full breakdown, see how it looks, what's how it works, check out the Disney Plus uh, uh, review I did yesterday, posted here. Just click on the channel name and scroll down until you find that video. All right, YouTube is testing a new feature for YouTube Premium customers that skips over the boring parts of videos. Now with YouTube um, beta test this, and it's in beta testing, 
when you're on mobile and you double click or try fast, you know, fast, fast forward through a video to get to another part. You know how often we'll show you those parts, most watched parts. Now there's a new AI button that allows you with a tap to jump forward to areas that are that YouTube thinks are be most interesting to you. Now, YouTube has already kind of done this for a while through Google. If you ever search for like how to repair a car part or how to repair your TV or something, and you get those suggested YouTube videos, and instead of giving you the whole video, it jumps to a specific chapter in that video, part of that video, that YouTube believes or Google believes answers your question. Kind of the same idea here, based on what you search for, what you're looking for, on select videos, YouTube will now automatically, for YouTube premium customers in this beta test, jump forward and suggest a video for you, uh, or se a section of a video for you, allowing you to skip over what they consider to be the boring parts, maybe like this. Now, for now, this is in beta. You have to be an Amazon or a YouTube um, uh, premier or uh, premium member, whatever. It's a very late. I'm actually recording this very late. The sun has set. A lot later than normal, I apologize. But you have to be a YouTube Premium member with this. Now, a lot of people ask, can it skip over commercials? Well, yeah, if you're a YouTube Premium customer, it will skip over the commercials. But no, it's really meant to be jumping to sections related to what you search for, what YouTube thinks you're going to enjoy. Let me know if you would, if you think that's something you would want. All right, Revolt TV has new owners. Revolt is a um, music streaming or music television channel available on Sling TV, Direct TV Stream, Fubo, Philo, and other cable providers out there. Um, Sheen uh, Diddy, or however you pronounce his name, major ho uh, owner has sold it to unknown owners. Now TMZ got this news. Some owners who for now re intend to remain anonymous are now the owners, they say sometime in the future they will announce themselves. Current leadership of Revolt continues, but it now has new owners. Be very interesting to see how this plays out um, with it. All right, if you are a Philo subscriber, you may have noticed some new channels. Philo has added 16 new free channels from A&E Networks and the Sports Network, B-E-I-N. Um, tons of content here with this. Cold Case Files, Crime 360, Crime Thriller, Crime... Um, Duck Dynasty, Dead Zone, and more. Now, some of these channels have been available through things like Pluto TV, the Roku channels, and the like. But now they're available through Philo, which is pretty cool because it's all in one spot. It also helps Philo raise the number of channels they can offer. Philo and some other live TV services have slowly been doing this by um, raising the number of channels by including free ad support channels integrated in their apps. Now these are free, they don't add, go court against your bill, but do add more channels to Philo with it. If you wanna see the full list, check out the show notes down below. I'll pull a link to the full list of Philo there. Question though, question of the day. What do you think of these paid services integrating more free ad supported content? What happens if it allows you new features like a DVR? Some of these services now allow you to DVR these free um, channels and fast forward through the commercials. Something you can't do with like Pluto TV. Sling TV does, I think you get 10 hours free, but it's a pretty interesting feature there. Leave me a comment, let me know, what do you think of Philo and others integrating these free services there? All right, T-Mobile's home fiber service, which starts at just $55 a month for a gig, a lot cheaper than what my cable provider offers a gig service for, is expanding into three new markets in Colorado and Florida. These are new towns there, as um, T-Mobile's reportedly also in works to bring this fiber service to new towns in partnership with third-party companies. Look for T-Mobile to continue to roll its fiber slowly but steadily, trying to expand its fiber network to compete and bring in more internet in more places. I love this. Again, more competition the better. I absolutely love competition. And now T-Mobile's fiber service is in a growing number of areas. If you want to find all the areas, we have a link to it in our sh uh, story in the first pinned comment in the show notes down below. Well, that's it. No question today because most of the questions were about Disney Plus and I kind of just did a and the Hulu merger and I did a big section of that earlier. But if you have a question for me you want me to answer, do me a favor. Leave me a comment here. Start it off with a question for Luke. Please remember to start off with a question for Luke. If I didn't happen to answer your question, sometimes I answer them in the comments, sometimes I answer them here. Re-ask it because sometimes they come in after I asked it or sometimes I just missed it in all the hundreds of comments that come in every day. So do me a favor, leave a comment. If you have a question, start off with a question for Luke so I know it's something you want me to answer on this video. Thank you to the thousands, over 5,000 new subscribers in the last few weeks. Thank you for your support. If you're new here, we really welcome you. 
We hope we can help you save some money and still watch the shows you enjoy. Until next time, take care, be safe. Thank you to everybody for your support. I really do appreciate it.